I wanted to share with you another uh, modification you can make to a shotgun or firearm to uh, reduce the felt recoil. And that is to add some weight into the stock. And uh, if you remove the, the butt plate, you can see uh, there's a large cavity here that's drilled out, a recess for the, uh, the nut and the washer that holds the uh, stock to the rest of the gun. And uh, this is the perfect place to add some weight. So what I like to do, I measure that and found it to be around an inch in diameter. And so handily, this uh, three quarter inch EMT slides right in. So what I do is uh, I wanna make a sleeve that uh, will go inside here and not contact the threads of the bolt or uh, and mushroom them out with repeated recoils because I wanna be able to pull the weight out and get to this bolt if I ever need to disassemble the gun totally. So I'll make a sleeve that contacts that washer and um, fill it with epoxy and lead and have a space it, space it off of the nut there. And I'll show you how to do that. So first I'll uh, get a depth here and mark that. Take it over and cut it on a hacksaw. Done that already, and I've, so I've got that here. I've cut it and then filed it, deburred it a little bit. So what I want to do is make a plug on that one end, and I'll do that with some uh, aluminum foil. This is just a like a temporary plug, just to hold back the um, the epoxy that I'm going to put in here. So make a ball and uh, wedge it in there. And, and I'll take another object and smash it all the way to the bottom, flatten it out. And so I've got a, basically an aluminum plug, but uh, I need to recess it a little bit. So I'll slide it into the gun and push it in further. So now it's recessing the aluminum plug further into my uh, core here. So you can see it's like turned sideways, so I need to put it back in there and press it again. Let's see if I can get this to work this time. I'm uh, still not real happy with that. I'll try that. Okay. So I've got a plug, it's recessed. Got the hot melt glue here, it's been running. I'll just take and uh, run a bead of hot melt glue around the edge here to uh, to seal it because the epoxy will flow through if I don't have it sealed. So what I'm going to do is uh, let that cool just a second and then push it back up into the gun and make sure that it's going to um, be the right space. And I've got this lead shot here. I've already got some epoxy, some high strength epoxy mixed up that I'm going to be using. Uh, let's see. Let me make sure I got that good and sealed. There, see a spot there that might be a problem. All right, I'll try that. Push this in here. Perfect. Or close enough, anyway. Okay, so now I'll flip it over and uh, pour a little epoxy in here. And then I'll run some uh, lead beads over that. I'm used to using number nine shot. You could put slugs in there or even a lead core if you happen to have one. I'm just using what I have laying around. So uh, I think you can easily add about a, almost a half a pound to a, a gun. And, and it's, the weight is actually in a very, uh, a very good spot. It improves the balance of the firearm. And it, it's noticeable, the recoil. Um, I've got two of these guns, and one of them I've, I do modifications on it, and the other one I just leave stock so I can compare them. And when you're, if you're out hunting or something like that, you, you probably would want to take the weight out. But if you're spending a day at the, uh, at the range and you're do, shooting sporting clays or skeet, trap, or something like that, and you're going to be doing it all day long, you want to do everything you can to reduce the felt recoil. And also, uh, if you're trying to introduce someone new to the sport, you, you, it's best to do whatever you can to make it enjoyable. And a lot of the, a lot of it, uh, the recoil is a 
huge factor in why, you know, people initially are turned off about shooting shotguns. So for my children and uh, friends that I'm trying to, you know, engage in the sport, I try to do what I can to uh, make it more enjoyable. And then later, as they get more skilled, uh, it, you know, you don't, you find ways to uh, hold the gun properly and, uh, and not have that felt recoil be so severe. So anyway, I've got this uh, filled up with lead. It's already getting some weight to it. So I'm going to let that uh, sit a while. And the, the epoxy I'm using is high strength. It takes 24 hours to cure. And uh, when I get done, I'm filling this with lead and epoxy. And I'm going to put a little uh, rubber silicone here on the backside where it contacts this, this plate. So it's not going to cut into that with reco you know repeated recoils. And uh, this will be a great improvement to the shotgun. It's already a pretty mild recoil, but adding weight back here, it really improves the balance. And you'll definitely notice a, a reduction in the felt recoil. So I just wanted to share that with you and hope it's something you can use yourself.